Hi, welcome everyone. Thanks so much for joining the channel and uh, take the time to check out brucezall.com on WordPress if you get the chance. This is Hamal Star, alternatively designated as Alpha Arietis, abbreviated Alpha Ari. It's the brightest star in the northern constellation of Aries with an apparent visual magnitude of 2.0. It's among the brightest stars in the night sky. Now, the thing is, Hamal is 65.8 light years, which is 22, uh, sorry, 20.2 parseconds uh, from Earth. It's a giant star that may host an orbiting planet with a mass greater than Jupiter. So, <laughs> There's a planet beside it. Beautiful, beautiful blue planet. We're going to go see it. And it's bigger than Jupiter, guys. So we are in the constellation of Aries. The stars in Aries. Um, Aries has three prominent stars forming an asterism. Designated Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Ariadis. All three are commonly used for navigation. There's also one other star above the fourth magnitude, 41 Ariadis, called Hamal. This is the nice bright yellow star with a small blue one and a small blue planet. It's bigger than the size of Jupiter. And Hamal, the brightest star in Aries, its traditional name is derived from the Arabic world for lamb of head of the ram, which references Aries' mythological background with a spectral class of K2 and a luminosity class of 3. It is an orange giant. Why? Well, it, its hydrogen is completely out of it, so now it's, it's uh, expanded out of its core and it's become a red super giant heard many things about draconians and the constellation of Draco. I mean, where are all these species coming from that we're seeing? Are these crafts? I and mean, everyone knows crafts exist, UFOs. Are they human or are they something else, another species? You know, maybe it's not that important. You know, maybe they haven't come and bothered us or have they? many people claim they have so what are we supposed to think of all of this uh, the beautiful beautiful constellation of Perseus the northern sky this is where we see it named after the Greek mythological hero Perseus the galactic plane of the Milky Way it passes right through the constellation of Perseus, whose brightest star is the yellow white supergiant Alpha Persei, also called Murfak or Murfak with a PH and also spelled with an F, Murfak. It shines the magnitude of 1.79, and many of the surrounding stars and members of an open cluster known as the Alpha Persei Cluster beautiful constellation constellation of Perseus and of course constellation of Andromeda is not 
far away from it either. And uh, can we see how far away from Earth it is? It is 250 million light years from Earth. And the beautiful constellation of Andromeda, wow, M31, I got the Great Nebula in Andromeda. I also got the Triangulum Galaxy in the constellation of Andromeda. M31, that's what they call the Great Nebula, which you'll see, is one of the most distant objects visible to the naked eye. We're talking 2.2 million light years from Earth. Estimates range up to 2.5 million light years away. It's seen under a dark, transparent sky as a hazy patch in the north of the constellation. There it is. It's absolutely amazing. It's a lot for me to be able to say that I, I've reached it. You know, with the techniques, with the efforts I have, this is done with my camera, uh, astrophotography. When I get, look at it here, top left. This is, we're inside Andromeda, guys. This is the beautiful view of it. You can see the great nebula, the great snowball nebula. Two. 5 million light years away. Just absolutely amazing. We're seeing inside Andromeda beautiful colors and it's so far away. So the smaller stars that you're seeing in the far background could be anywhere from 3 to 10 million light years away. Guys, that's ever so far in the universe is ever so vast. We can clearly see and very easily that uh, the universe is not small at all here's uh algal star we're in the constellation of perseus again and we're seeing um the star inside you know in general we're seeing it blue but uh, with some filtering and you look at the star in general it's orange bright fireball right and we're seeing nebulae close by here to the left of it uh, just absolutely amazing. Here is the, again in Perseus, this is the star K Perseus. So I'm happy to give you a view of some of these stars. We're looking at stars, we're talking two, uh, probably about 2.1 million light years away. This is just under Andromeda. It's absolutely amazing to be able to see it. Here's Hamal with um, Sheratan, Mirth Attack just underneath the bluer one there. So we're seeing a real view of a couple of days ago. Look at here, Hamal, how beautiful it is, Hamal star. This is in the constellation of Perseus. This is the blue star right beside um, Hamal. Well, actually not the one that's directly beside it, but over to the center of the field of view that I had and it, yes Sheraton star Alpha Andromedae Alpha Rat star 97.7 light years away from Earth also known as HD 358 HIP 677 and HR 15. Alpha Rats, Alpha Andromeda is a blue star that can be located in the constellation of Andromeda. It is the 56th brightest star in the night sky. The star can be seen with the naked eye, that is, you don't need a telescope, binoculars either to see it. You could see it literally with the naked eye. And with a new telescope, um, I will calibrate it and I will do tests trust me with all that is in space i've always used my telescope for the moon because it's my choice i have a better technique with the camera trust me but with the telescope the new telescope i will be trying those experiments for you all and we will be trying to view everything that we can with a telescope as often as we can guys
these are the website contributors, the ones who've donated. We've raised $10,050. Melissa Allred joined to the club for uh, the, her generous donation. Thank you, Melissa. I'm anxious to interact with you. Incompetech.com, if you want to hear that music that Kevin McLeod's making. WSO YouTube channel. I'll be doing an interview with them uh, again on Tuesday. I'm really happy we're talking about what's going on. Channel should be interacting about what's going on in the sky, comparing uh, notes, absolutely, to be sure that we're seeing the right things. Thanks a lot, uh, Steve, for uh, the help. And uh, the community from WSO that's come now to our channel, guys, welcome. 